But first of all, I just want to start by talking about your relationship with Steve, because the two of you had this most incredible electric on-screen chemistry where you were just sparring off each other. And how was that for you? I mean, did you guys to crease up at all did you have to do like loads of cuts because it was just getting it was so funny and intense <laughs> it was a fast shoot so we, we we shot quickly and my first scene was when I licked his face so I was mortified and so nervous <laughs> and I've had a long-standing acting crush on Steve Carell so I was desperately hoping that he would <laughs> think I was you know good enough to be in the scene with him I was really nervous um and uh yeah. it was so it was kind of baptism by fire uh and he's so funny you know his, his improv is really spontaneous in the sense of you just no idea what he's gonna just come out he's at such a specific rhythm with his comedy and uh I was just it was really delightful to, to get to do some scenes with him I cannot believe that your first scene with him was having to lick his face. I was going to ask you about that. Was, like, it, I felt like I licked his face for an hour. I just <laughs> took forever to figure it out. And I was so nervous. And can you imagine trying to do that now? I yes. that's the last time that scene will ever happen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, it's a huge social faux pas now to be. I mean, it's a social faux pas to be licking anyone's face at any point. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> to do it now oh, I was like God. wow I don't even know if I'd want to lick my husband's face yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. anyway massive kudos to you for doing that and as a first scene as well I mean that is a huge respect for <laughs> you being able to do that um it's a bit, obviously I said at the beginning it's a very intelligent movie um and obviously you're putting it out at quite a divided time when it shows people profiting from division um and I think it's very interesting that you're putting it out now in terms of the message that you want people to take from it. What, when people see it, I mean, do you want them to try and think differently about how the whole political world works? I mean, I would like them to vote. That's what I would like. <laughs> yes. I think that's the only answer. It's such a huge problem, the media and the the sensationalization of it and this is a great expose of it but but we have to vote yeah 100 percent. and mm. putting out a movie um in this time and it being streamed and not being like a theatrical release is that weird for you is that a kind of different way to kind of think about how this movie is going to be impacted is going to impact people and how they'll perceive it it's but i guess more of a question for john being his vision and when you're a director you devote a year of your life to doing a film as an actress you know, I kind of come in and it's a week here and there so uh uh this pandemic is just ever evolving we're at the beginning I think it's a this film was always going to come out this year because it's an election year and it was very much I feel John's vision to have it this year um and I think it'll find it I think it'll find its home on demand and you know who knows when we'll be going back to the cinema or to the theatre in in the numbers that we used to, you know, yeah. if we waited that long, it could be, you know, it could be. I mean, it could be 2025, it could be 2030. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> with you but this has been great thank you so much for speaking to me um just also i know that next year is the 10 year anniversary of bridesmaids so i've got everything crossed that maybe maybe we'll see a number two <laughs> someone else said that to me i didn't realize that it was uh and i'm completely freaked out about that i'm like what? well I'm up. um i know 10 years 10 years i know mad quick 10 years um rose thank you so much um it's been lovely talking to you and uh, enjoy the rest of your press time and um who knows when you're next lick someone else's face i know <laughs>